Hey y'all, just some kayak catfish. I've been out here on the Tennessee River tonight and I've been doing some anchor fishing. I had a hankering for some anchoring as the old saying goes and you know, I don't know if that's an old saying or not. I may have just made that up. Anyway, regardless, I have been out here anchor fishing tonight and I came out here with a plan that I was going to hit three different areas, maybe four if time allowed. And in reality, what happened was I got anchored down here. I've been fishing off a bar and I just said, you know what? I don't want to fool with it tonight. I'm going to sit right here and we're just going to fish here for the duration. If there's not fish here when I got here, which there wasn't when I first got anchored down, I thought throughout the night, maybe fish are going to move in here. And I said, I'm just going to fish until I get tired. And that's, that's what I've done. And I've managed to catch a few fish tonight, which I'm going to show you right now. Because we got one on right there now. First one of the night. Hooked up. Anchor down about 30 minutes. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of moving tonight. I've got about three spots I want to fish. I may not get to all of them. Let me see. See how the bite is. And, you know, normally I'm a kind of a run and gun. I'll spend 20, 30 minutes on a place and move, and then I'm gone. If I'm not getting any action, but I'm kind of tired tonight. I ain't really. I ain't really wanting to fool with that anchor much. All right, y'all. There he is. Fish number one. No skunk tonight. Let's let him go. Get that bait back out there. There he is. He's on there. Oh, that's why. <laughs> that's why I thought I'd lost him. He's about as big as my bait. <laughs> yeah, he went good. <laughs> I didn't want to fool with him anyway. Oh, guys, we got one on right there now. Oh no! Did he drop it? He's coming at me. He's coming at me. <laughs> he hit it hard. He swam right back at the kayak. Good buddy. It's good to get a bite, man. I went about an hour without anything. I just decided, you know what? I'm not moving tonight. I'm going to stay right here where I'm at. We're just going to ride it out. Fish will either move up in here or they won't. This fish hit pretty shallow too. I'm I'm fishing off the end of a bar, and so I've got my baits cast all around. And uh, so this bait was here. It was probably somewhere 10, 12 foot deep on this bar. So. Nice fish, man. Nice fish. I'll let her tuck, tuck herself out a little bit here before I bring him in because he's still lively. Boy, that hook was just barely in the bottom lip. Look at that, buddy. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's a good fish, man. That's made it worth the wait out here tonight. I guess I've been on this spot close to two hours and uh, you know I come out here I thought I was gonna hit about three different places tonight just kind of you know run and gun type move but uh, I got out here got kind of tired and I said heck with it I'm just gonna ride it out here fish they'll move up through here or they won't and uh, this one moved on up so <laughs> like I said made it worth the wait all right well Let's do what we do on them. Let's let them go. See you, buddy. Thank you. He gone. All right, guys, this is what I'm using for bait tonight. Just a big hunk of skipjack on my circle hook. Got that on a Carolina rig. And, you know, most of you all who've watched my videos for the last year or so, 
you know, last year I switched to the knocker rig and I really like that for suspend fishing. But after using it while anchor fishing a few times, I just decided that I like the Carolina rig better. Mainly because with the knocker rig, when I cast my baits, I tend to fling the, fling the bait off the hook a lot. Whereas I don't really do that that often with the Carolina rig. So with suspend fishing, that knocker rig is top notch, at least for the kayak anyway. And you know, if I was fishing in a boat, it really wouldn't make that big a difference because a boat is a bigger, heavier platform. It's not going to get blown around as much in the wind like the kayak does. The kayak, it doesn't even have the wind doesn't even be blowing that bad for me to get blown around and cause a sway in my line and cause my bait to rise up in the water. And with the knocker rig, having that sinker down directly on top of my bait, it helps negate that. It just helps offset it and gets my baits back down there directly under the kayak where I want them when I'm suspend fishing. It's also really good too when I get snagged because I can pop that bait and make my sinker just hit that hook and, and knock it free from whatever I'm snagged on. But like I said, for anchor fishing though, the Carolina rig is what I've went back to just for just for casting the bait, just to help keep from flinging my bait off the hook. I'm gonna get this one cast back out there and see if we can get us another one. Got another one on right here. There he is. It's on that one that bait that's cast up shallow there. Moved up the feed here. All right, I think this is number four on the night here. So, you know, again, it's just been kind of a slow night, but like I said, I'm in this one spot here and I'm gonna just ride it out here until I get too tired to, to sit out here anymore. So, him and his friends will come along a little more often. It might help keep me awake. <laughs> Let's let him go. What the heck? I assume I've had a fish hit this bait, guys. Well, I didn't know it. And he has swam across my lines. Oh, he's in my drift sock, too. <laughs> What a mess this is. I never felt him hit. He must have hit it and swam upstream, best I can figure. Oh man. Can't see where my drift sock's at. Thank goodness he's just a little one. That would have been a mess. <laughs> been a mess with the big one he would have had everything wrapped up all right y'all there's just another one just another little dink but finally getting a little action out here it's really started to kind of pick up this last half hour or so so hopefully they turn it on and more fish moving up in here and maybe we'll find us a really big one before the night's over that's what i'm out here for is the whopper if the fish aren't active Oh my gosh, really? 